Molar mass, Wikipedia article audio. In chemistry, the molar mass m is a physical property defined as the mass of a given substance divided by the amount of substance. The base SI unit for molar mass is kg slash mole. However, for historical reasons, molar masses are almost always expressed in g slash mole. Molar masses of elements Molar masses of compounds Average molar mass of mixtures Related quantities Molecular mass DNA synthesis usage Precision and uncertainties Measurement Vapor density Freezing point depression Boiling point elevation As an example, the molar mass of water MA per thousand six nine nine eight one eight zero one four eight eight zero 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 a trademark eighteen point zero one four eighty eight G slash mole. The molar mass of atoms of an element is given by the standard atomic weight of the element multiplied by the molar mass constant, M, U equals one A ten A three K G slash mole equals one G slash mole. Multiplying by the molar mass constant ensures that the calculation is dimensionally correct. Standard relative atomic masses are dimensionless quantities whereas molar masses have units. Some elements are usually encountered as molecules, e.g. hydrogen, sulfur, chlorine. The molar mass of molecules of these elements is the molar mass of the atoms multiplied by the number of atoms in each molecule. The molar mass of a compound is given by the sum of the standard atomic weight of the atoms which form the compound multiplied by the molar mass constant, m, u. An average molar mass may be defined for mixtures of compounds. This is particularly important in polymer science, where different polymer molecules may contain different numbers of monomer units. The average molar mass of mixtures, m, a, can be calculated from the mole fractions, x, i, of the components and their molar masses, m, i. It can also be calculated from the mass fractions, w, I, of the components. As an example, the average molar mass of dry air is 28.97 g slash mole. Molar mass is closely related to the relative molar mass of a compound, to the older term formula weight, and to the standard atomic masses of its constituent elements. However, it should be distinguished from the molecular mass which is the mass of one molecule and is not directly related to the atomic mass, the mass of one atom. The Dalton, symbol D, is also sometimes used as a unit of molar mass, especially in biochemistry, with the definition 1 to equals 1 g slash mole, despite the fact that it is strictly a unit of mass A10 A27 kg. Gram atomic mass is another term for the mass, in grams, of one mole of atoms of that element. Gram atom is a former term for a mole. Molecular weight is an older term for what is now more correctly called the relative molar mass. This is a dimensionless quantity equal to the molar mass divided by the molar mass constant. The molecular mass is the mass of a given molecule it is measured in atomic mass units or Daltons. Different molecules of the same compound may have different molecular masses because they contain different isotopes of an element. The molar mass is a measure of the average molecular mass of all the molecules in a sample, and is usually the more appropriate measure when dealing with macroscopic quantities of a substance. Molecular masses are calculated from the standard atomic weights of each nuclide, while molar masses are calculated from the atomic mass of each element. 
The atomic mass takes into account the isotopic distribution of the element in a given sample. For example, water has a molar mass of 18.0153 g mole, but individual water molecules have molecular masses which range between 18.010564. 6863U and 22.0277364U. The distinction between molar mass and molecular mass is important because relative molecular masses can be measured directly by mass spectrometry, often to a precision of a few parts per million. This is accurate enough to directly determine the chemical formula of a molecule. The term formula weight has a specific meaning when used in the context of DNA synthesis, whereas an individual phosphoramidite nucleobase to be added to a DNA polymer has protecting groups and has its molecular weight quoted including these groups, the amount of molecular weight that is ultimately added by this nucleobase to a DNA polymer is referred to as the nucleobase's formula weight. The precision to which a molar mass is known depends on the precision of the atomic masses from which it was calculated. Most atomic masses are known to a precision of at least one part in 10,000, often much better exception. This is adequate for almost all normal uses in chemistry, it is more precise than most chemical analyses, and exceeds the purity of most laboratory reagents. The precision of atomic masses, and hence of molar masses, is limited by the knowledge of the isotopic distribution of the element. If a more accurate value of the molar mass is required, it is necessary to determine the isotopic distribution of the sample in question, which may be different from the standard distribution used to calculate the standard atomic mass. The isotopic distributions of the different elements in a sample are not necessarily independent of one another, for example, a sample which has been distilled will be enriched in the lighter isotopes of all the elements present. This complicates the calculation of the standard uncertainty in the molar mass. A useful convention for normal laboratory work is to quote molar masses to two decimal places for all calculations. This is more accurate than is usually required, but avoids rounding errors during calculations. When the molar mass is greater than 1000 g mole, it is rarely appropriate to use more than one decimal place. These conventions are followed in most tabulated values of molar masses. Molar masses are almost never measured directly. They may be calculated from standard atomic masses, and are often listed in chemical catalogs and on safety data sheets. Molar masses typically vary between. While molar masses are almost always, in practice, calculated from atomic weights, they can also be measured in certain cases. Such measurements are much less precise than modern mass spectrometric measurements of atomic weights and molecular masses, and are of mostly historical interest. All of the procedures rely on colligative properties, and any dissociation of the compound must be taken into account. The measurement of molar mass by vapor density relies on the principle, first enunciated by Amadeo Avogadro, that equal volumes of gases under identical conditions contain equal numbers of particles. This principle is included in the ideal gas equation. Where n is the amount of substance? The vapor density is given by Combining these two equations gives an expression for the molar mass in terms of the vapor density for conditions of known pressure and temperature. The freezing point of a solution is lower than that of the pure solvent, and the freezing point depression is directly proportional to the amount concentration for dilute solutions. When the composition is expressed as a molality, the proportionality constant is known as the cryoscopic constant and is characteristic for each solvent. 
If W represents the mass fraction of the solute in solution, and assuming no dissociation of the solute, the molar mass is given by The boiling point of a solution of an involatile solute is higher than that of the pure solvent, and the boiling point elevation is directly proportional to the amount concentration for dilute solutions. When the composition is expressed as a molality, the proportionality constant is known as the ebullioscopic constant and is characteristic for each solvent. If W represents the mass fraction of the solute in solution, and assuming no dissociation of the solute, the molar mass is given by 